Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn and this is the Corsair RM850X Modular Power Supply Unit. This is a video to show you what's in the box, talk about the modular power supply and its interesting features and highlights, and as well as demonstrating the difference between the standard cables that are included and the premium ones that you can purchase. Now the standard cables are very nice, but the premium ones that you can see here, the black and white individually sleeved ones are even nicer, and especially for the setup process, but also also the finished look and feel and I'm going to talk to you in a bit more depth about those later on. The RM850X power supply unit is a modular power supply unit that's 850 watts and this power supply is actually one that I've used in a few builds, not this particular one, but I've used this model in several different builds in the past and for good reason. It's a modular power supply unit which means you can plug in the cables that you need and only the cables you need saving space in your case without any extra cables. It's also a high performance but well-tuned power efficient power supply that won't use unnecessary amounts of power and cost you a fortune. 850 watt is also a decent amount of wattage. It's not over the top, it's un not unnecessarily overpowered, but it will still deliver the power you need for multiple devices. Now for reference, my main machine that runs an RM850X in it has a Core i9-9980XE CPU and RTX 2080 Ti, two bladder hard drives, multiple NVMe drives, SSD drives, 64 gigs of RAM, and 13 fans so it's pretty insane in terms of the power that it requires and yet the 850x is perfectly suited to that for this build that i'm going to be showing you in a second i've done it with the corsair 4000d case that i've done a video on separately and that is a bit less power hungry but still this power supply lives up to those needs. Now, if you don't know what power supply you need and that's why you're looking at this video, be sure to check out the description where I'll link you a tool that you can use to work out what the wattage is required based on the specifications of your devices and what you're planning on installing in the case. And that's really useful to work it out so you don't end up spending money unnecessarily on a really expensive, high-end, extremely power-rich wattage power supply unit when you need one that's a bit smaller like this 850x for example probably tick all the boxes and yet it doesn't cost the earth it is a fantastic power supply unit though course says power supplies are very solid and i've been using them for years you'll know there's a little note on the box there that says silent operation at moderate loads and the fans will not spin this is designed to be a quiet power supply unit that when it's not under heavy load won't spin that fan and therefore keeps your case running quietly and efficiently and i did notice that in the airflow 4000d when combined with other things that also have like zero rpm or quiet setup in terms of fan load and it is joyful in that way the 850x is also fairly decent size as you'll see in the 4000d it doesn't take up too much room it's not terribly long i'm going to leave all the specifications in the description so you can see that now to talk about the cabling i noticed i used the standard cables that came in the box originally and these are quite thick cables. They're a premium, decent quality to them, but as you'll see when they're plugged in, they're quite chunky. And this was something I noted immediately when I was trying to work in the 4000D, which is a mid-tower case. So some of the angles are a bit tight and some of the space is also tight. Doing something like plugging in the 24-pin CPU motherboard power cable was a bit fiddly around the side of the 4000D where there's a vent that's specially designed to block off the cable view and make things a bit tight. Also it's a bit messy, you can see the GPU one that I'm using here has sort of multiple attachments on it and it just doesn't look that great. There's a bit of obviously that have that housing around the cabling and it's not terribly flexible, they're quite stiff and they're angry. So the Pro PSU Cable Kit is an optional purchase, an additional purchase. You don't necessarily need to do it, but I'm going to show you why it's worthwhile. And that is not least of which is the cable combs that are included in it. Individually sleeved power supply unit cables basically are much more flexible design and they have a really nice finish to them. Now I've done a video on the past on the white RM850X and the white premium cables that you could get along with a, an additional cable kit 
and I use those cables in my Lian Lee build and in the Corsair 680X crystal videos that I did before so check out those videos if you want to see what that looks like but here I'm using a black and white version and you can get other colors too so you can actually customize the look and feel of your case with a simple uh, upgrade of your power supply cables which is quite interesting you'll see it includes all the necessary cables in the box so for comparison's sake I'm going to take out and show you the ones that I'm going to be using 24 pin motherboard CPU power the two top CPU power ones PCIe for the graphics card SATA power as well so I don't need that many cables but there are all the other ones that you might need in the box I've only got NVMe SSD drives in this main rig that I'm going to be using so there's no need for excessive SATA power or anything like that but for comparison's sake you can take the 24 pin the standard one I've unplugged all the cables from the case and here's the standard 24 pin motherboard power supply and you can see at the tip it's quite a chunky thing that isn't terribly flexible yes you've got the individual cables at the end there but then they go into this rather chunky fat thing that's not easy to bend around corners and it doesn't look that nice when it's in the case it doesn't look that great when it's obviously that's quite close to the motherboard so it's something you're going to see and if you're trying to bend it around a corner inside the case like a 4000d it can be quite difficult to get into a good position I found it a real pain to install and it was obvious once I'd done it that it wasn't going to look amazing so the premium kit makes a big difference and you'll see why in a second obviously these are still good quality cables perfectly fine if you don't want to spend the extra and you're not bothered about looks but here you can see the premium version and you're just immediately struck by the difference obviously these black and white kits are individually sleeved each cable is separated out individually and you'll see this cable comb there as well separates them out even further and you can buy additional cable combs to separate them all the way along to make things look really neat if you're that OCD about it but one thing that you'll note as well is that this cable is a lot more flex because they're individually sleeved you can bend them and they're more pliable and malleable which means that you can twist them and turn them in the directions that you want and then the end result looks a lot nicer they're obviously longer and thinner in terms of side to side diameter rather than this chunky one single cable so it's quite a significant difference in the look and feel of them and the installation is also different as well once you plug that one in it's a lot easier to get it through to the front of the case for a start this premium cable it's a lot easier to just plug it into place and then it's a lot easier to make it look nice because you obviously have the sleeving and you, if you cable tie up the back and make everything look sweet then it can be really a good looking end result and the same is true of all of them you see for example the standard SATA one is just kind of plasticky black nonsense and then the premium one is a much nicer looking affair and then the CPU power for the motherboard at the top of the motherboard similar sort of thing again really stiff and hard to get into the case I had real trouble getting this past the fans and over the top of the motherboard and sort of getting it in the right position not terribly pliable and a bit of a faff the premium cables by comparison were a breeze and each one of these premium cables comes with that cable comb kit making it easier to then make it look nice by just moving those along and changing where the position of the cables are now for ease of purpose as well I've also removed the PSU from the case which unscrewing it and taking it out makes it easier to then plug everything in I'd recommend doing this before you even start putting things in your case it's much easier to put the cables in your power supply unit then put it in the case than it is to install the power supply and then put the cables in you plug in the 24 pin as an example obviously plugging in the CPU and everything else so I'm plugging in everything that I'm going to need and that includes three motherboard power supplies the graphics card power and the SATA power for the commander core control unit for running my fans that are in the case if you're interested check out the 4000d and the Corsair Elite Capelix videos that I did and I'll show you what that's all about and how it works fairly simple plug and play affair too and then once that's all done we can then go about putting the power supply unit back in the case now in this case it obviously faces downwards the fan faces towards the bottom and sucks cold air into it as I said that doesn't run if it doesn't need to so it keeps things nice and cool it's also tucked away nicely at the back 
Another thing that's n you'll note that was included in the box is you have a number of cable ties included in the power supply box so you can really tidy up the cables once they're all installed. Recommend leaving that until you're sure you're finished though. You should find the screws for the power supply unit actually come with the case itself. It's generally what happens and that's where these ones were included and then you can screw it into the case from the four points. Make sure it's nice and secure. Now once I've got that in I'm then going to go about plugging the things in and using the 4000D's channeling in order to get things as neat as I possibly can. One thing that you might note is if you saw earlier on in the video when I uninstalled the original cables and one thing that I did note certainly when I was going through this process is that due to the individual sleeving and the way these cables work they are slightly chunkier once you've finished putting them into this channel so the same amount of cables actually are fatter at the back than they are at the front if that makes sense so the rear of the case has a lot more cables to deal with although it's the same amount of cables because of the design and layout of the way the individual sleeving works you end up with a fatter chunkier cables so if you're trying to put them into something like this single channel it ends up getting quite big and you have to compensate for that and think about how it's going to fit the back of the case on for example but as you can see obviously the end result is going to be what happens around the front and that's what people are going to see and that's what matters most because that's where the airflow is going to happen so if you keep things nice and neat at the front then the case will keep cool and it will also look great too now you can see here where I'm trying to run it through past that hiding hole at the back there behind the radiator pump leads. It's a lot easier to get through. I can't tell you enough how much difference this makes. Basically the cables come through a lot easier and then because they're so much easier to bend and twist it's much easier to set them into place and to plug them in and get them set down. The standard ones were so much more fiddly because of the thickness of the cable and the housing that comes with it. And almost immediately you can see how much nicer this will look as well. With that cable comb in place and with the cables teased into a satisfying angle you can get those cables looking really nice and everything looking very neat. As I said you can buy extra cable combs if you so choose and obviously you can do some work around the back as well with cable ties to tighten things up and make them look a bit nicer. You can see I've already done that with a 24 pin a little bit there. It's probably not perfect to everyone's eyes but this isn't the finished product. And then the top ones below those fans are still fiddly but nowhere near as fiddly as the standard power cables so it's a lot easier to set up. Now while I'm demonstrating this I'll also note that I am going to leave all the specifications for this power supply in the description so you can check it out. We have six PCIe connectors, 10 SATA connectors, eight PATA connectors so you have the option to install multiple different devices in here all sorts of hard drives, control, fan control systems and everything else. You can see I've got the uh, Corsair Commander Core, which is the new lighting core that they have there, that's with SATA power, and you might have SSD drives back here as well that those cables would use too. So it's worth noting that you have multiple choices in terms of connection options. As I said, you can see here are those cable ties that I was talking about earlier on. You can basically tidy up around the back and make things look nice and neat. So the end result is the RM850X is a perfect all rounder. 10 year warranty means it'll last and last and it'll do a good job too. The power supply unit kit, the extra cables that you can see also look the part especially when you've got something like vertically mounted GPU going on and then obviously multiple visible power cables but looking really nice and really clean up close. The fact that you can choose from different colours obviously means you can customise your case to look make it look the way you want to as well. Hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions. Be sure to check out the description for everything else. Thanks for watching. I'd also like to take a moment to thank YouTube members Meaty Keyboard and Raw. Be sure to click that join button to find out what YouTube membership means and the extra benefits that you can get.
This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you found it useful, interesting, hilarious, or all of the above. Be sure to check out the description for other information you might find interesting, and subscribe and watch these other videos as well that I think might be useful to you. And have a great life.